Well, good morning. Greetings from the dank basement with the famous Rudy the Cat. There's Rudy. Say hi, Rudy. There's Rudy the Cat. I am Paul Shellbetter, your Uncle Squinty, and we're taking a look today at the Snoob range of Indian snuffs sold exclusively by MrSnuff.com. These are manufactured for Mr. Snuff, I understand, by Six Photo, Vikas Grover, always looking for a good way to market snuff. And uh, they got a good range in this snub white Indian tobacco range. Now, I have to say this again. I really take an issue with naming these after street names for cocaine. Not just because I don't think that it's a good idea to as associate illegal drug use with taking nasal stuff. I mean, we already get suspicious looks and interviews with the police. It's like, what are you sniffing? Oh, it's called white cocaine. Okay, you're coming with me. But besides that, uh, what a red flag for customs. I Even after I ordered this, I thought, well, it's just called Toot. That's the one I'm reviewing today. The Snub Toot from their white range. And even though it's called Toot, uh, it's like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so anyway, this is a very finely ground Indian white snuff. And in fact, Mr. Snuff is absolutely correct in their description when they say it's an expert level of sniffing. Uh, you have to know what you're doing otherwise this will choke you it will hurt you it will go into your lungs so be very careful i'm going to take oh i should probably sniff the tin first yeah it smells kind of like raspberry it kind of reminds me of ozona raspberry with a funky edge they call it ozona type r now they can't call it raspberry but it's the same stuff this reminds me of that quite a lot and that is what i came to expect from the description on mr snuff's website uh, it's supposed to smell a little bit like the Ozona R. I'm going to presume this also has menthol in it. Because of that comparison, I wasn't smelling it in the tin. Boxcar. Here we go. Wish me luck. If I die, I leave my cat to Ronan Carney. No, I don't. You can't have my cat, Ronan. Yeah, it is difficult to sniff. There is menthol there, not a lot, just enough to open up the nostrils. The raspberry is very natural, and on top of the Indian base, the white tobacco base, it's very good. I'm surprised. Uh, the first two snuff snuffs I reviewed were not good. They were the herbal ones. They sucked. They had too much chemical nicotine dumped onto them. Uh, and I'm very suspicious about the quality of that nicotine. You know, you can get pharmaceutical grade, USP grade nicotine sulfate, but you can also get pesticide grade nicotine sulfate. I don't even want to guess. But with this one, this is real tobacco and it's marvelous. So on the squinty scale where one is the, the, the and five is Delius this fine white raspberry menthol scented Indian snuff is going to rate a four out of five and I only give it a four out of five simply because it's not one I could use all day, every day. Now, will I buy this again? Yes, definitely. If I, if I run out of this tin, taking it one tiny pinch at a time, uh, I would buy this again, absolutely. How's the nicotine? On a scale of one to 10, where one is no perceptible nicotine and 10 is way too much, this is an easy eight and a half to nine. So be careful with the nicotine on this one as well. Very strong, very hard to sniff, but once you get the sniffing technique down, very pleasant in the nose. Raspberry doesn't persist for very long, nor does the menthol, at least not from that tiny little pinch, but it's still there a little bit. Base tobacco smells very nice. Yeah, I like this. Four out of five on the squinty scale, eight and a half to nine on the nicotine scale. From Snuff, manufactured exclusively by Six Photo for MrSnuff.com, this is the White Toot. From the Dank Basement, I'm your Squicked Funkle Dinky, and thank you for watching, as always. There's the cat. Hi, cat. How you doing, cat? Rudy's my friend. I'll talk to you later.